ready? So today I'm going to be showing you how to use a nasal cannula and a high flow nasal cannula on your patient. So first I'm going to start with the nasal cannula. Um, if it's a flow zero to three, you can just put it on the tree and turn the flow on um, and just put it on the patient. But make sure the little nose pieces are down so that they're not digging into the patient's nose. If it's a flow three or more, you have to use a humidification device. So I'm going to be using this bu bubble humidifier. So I'm just going to take the tree off of the flow meter and attach the humidifier. And then I attach the nasal cannula to the device. And like I said, this flow has to be three or more, so I'm just going to put it on five. Um, and you can see the bubbles in the humidifier. And that will humidify the air to the patient to um, prevent any like dry air going in their nose. And then for the high flow nasal cannula, it's essentially the same process. You just have to use the humidification, of course, because this cannula um, is a flow of six or more, so it's going to be six to ten. So this one, as you can see, it's a little bit different. Um, so you're just going to attach it to the humidification. And then turn on the flow meter. I'm going to put it up to six this time, and you can see the bubbles down in here. And as you can see, it's, it's the same kind of situation. It's a little bit bigger, um, but this one is the high flow. Um, with nasal cannulas, the amount of oxygen that is delivered to the patient depends on the flow rate. So whatever your flow is at determines how much oxygen is going to your patient.